What's up y'all? It's Bria Katana. So today we're going to be doing a blowout and a trim. This is what I'm starting out with. It's looking extra crusty and extra extra dusty because I just took my sewing out and my ends are basically trash but we're going to get that together so let's jump into it. So I'm basically just going to be starting off with freshly washed hair. I just washed my hair out with the Maui Moisture Coconut Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I didn't do any type of deep condition. I only just washed and conditioned it for about 10-15 minutes. And my hair is sectioned into four different sections. That's how I blow dry my hair in four sections. And then they're already pre-detangled. And I steamed my hair under a microfiber towel and shower cap overnight along with some Jamaican black castor oil. Um, if you guys want me to make a video about that, I most definitely can. So basically, I'm just using a just regular Kanye blow dryer with the comb detachable part. I really don't like doing the tension method. It just takes too long and it's way too time consuming and I just much rather just do it this way because it's how I've always done it and it's never led me wrong so basically I just go through and I comb through my hair with the detachable comb part on the blow dryer Don't pick up the pieces, just leave it so right here you can really see that my hair needs to be trimmed very badly I should have trimmed it before my sewing but I'm lazy so I'm finally armpit length y'all just a few months ago I was collarbone length my hair grew like wildfire under that sewing so I'm like super super hype about that so when I get done with a section I just go ahead and I clip it up with just a little regular metal clip and then I just go ahead and proceed to blow dry out the rest of my hair so I don't use any type of heat protectant when I blow dry my hair. Only thing I used was the Jamaican black castor oil when I steamed it and that was about it. So I don't really believe in heat protectants but I don't think they really work. So I just kind of wing it every time. So we're just going to go ahead and get right into the trim. I'm starting out with blow dried hair. This is the same blowout that I just did. It's just a couple days old. So the only thing you're really going to need is just a hair tie, some scissors, and a rat tail comb. I specifically like the rat tail combs that have the little metal part at the end. It's just easier for me to part my hair off like that. And basically what I do first is I just go ahead and I section off the back part of my hair. And just as a disclosure for myself, when I trim the back part of my hair, I don't really trim the back for evenness. I trim the back for damage just because this part of my hair is more prone to breakage and it's always getting brushed up into a bun or a puff or whatever I'm doing. I just feel like this part of my hair gets damaged a lot faster. So I really don't care if the back of my hair is even just because the top of my hair is a little longer anyway so it covers this part. It's also really important to make sure that you have a mirror in front of you and behind you. Um, that just helps ensure that your hair will be even once you start getting to the top portion of your hair. So what I do is I just go ahead and comb out the section with a rat tail comb. And then with the back, I just eye it of where the damage is because I don't care if this part is even. I eye where the damage is and then I just cut off as much damaged section as I can with the hair. And then I go through to the next part and I eye that part. And I cut off the damage for that section and then I go all the way until I'm done with the back section. So right about here is when I start to cut my hair evenly, right when I get above my ear. And what I do is the section that's closest to my face, I use that section basically as a guide for all my other sections that I cut. So the section right next to it, you're going to see me comb that out. And then you're going to see me grab that first piece right there I grabbed it and then I basically even it out and I cut off the hair 
based on how long the first piece was. It's kind of hard for me to explain, but basically I grabbed the piece. You can see the little better here. I grabbed the piece and then I grab a piece that I already cut and I basically go through and I line it up and then cut off the hair that isn't lined up with the rest of it. And that's basically how I get that even look that I have right here. It's just by lining up the pieces side by side and then cutting off the remainder that is not matched up with the first piece. So when you get to the top of your hair, you basically just want to part it of how you would naturally part your hair. So if you wear a middle part, then part it down the middle and then cut on each side. Or if you wear a side part, then part it on whichever side you part it and then cut on both sides. But what you don't want to do is brush your hair to the back and cut it back, if you know what I mean. You want to cut your hair side by side. So I part my hair on the left side. So you can't really see it because it's on the opposite side of the camera, but my part is on the left side and then I cut on the right and the left. So this is the finished product y'all. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment below. See y'all soon. Bye.